Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> I'm going to get you! The monster! He's after us! And when I do... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> when I do, I will... I will... <laughs> cook you on my monster barbecue and eat you all up! <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I'm hungry! care of that. Now then, where did my dream leave off? Ah! Uh, this is not good. Ah! Come on, snap out of it. Hey! <laughs> Look guys, don't worry about a thing. I'll take all the blame. Don't even try to talk me out of it. I simply insist. No, no. I'm telling you, I can handle it. Really. My very first sculpture in just one class. Can you believe it? Uh, no, I really can't. I'll just set it here to dry. It really reflects my inner feelings about the basic human condition. Who knew there was an artist inside of me just waiting to blossom? Uh, I love it, honey. It's really like, like, uh, like art. <laughs> oh. Washington, did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my grandmother's face. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, honey, look at his face. He didn't mean to break it. You know how clumsy dogs are. <laughs> You're right. My grandmother didn't even like that vase very much. And I didn't really like my grandmother. Me neither. Well, I think Washington has learned his lesson. Right, Washington? <laughs> He's really sad. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, Wash. We should be going. Our dinner reservations are for seven. What time is it now? Uh, 6.59 and 18 seconds. <laughs> yeah! Thanks for taking the blame, Washington. There's no way I could handle so much shaming. Whoa, you're a master. Let me try. I can't do it. I can't do that pain face you do. Well, I hope this is a lesson learned. One, I'm an excellent actor, and two, you guys really <laughs> should <don't... laughs> Hey, did you not hear what I just said? I will not cover for you again. You've got nothing to worry about, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please watch out? If anything happens to this thing, the Livingstones will blame me for it, and my sad face trick will only work once. <laughs> <laughs> Just smash it already so I can get back to my beauty sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Hey, that's enough! Hey, listen to me! Come on, hey! What? That's not enough. I need them to be quiet once and for all. <laughs> what? How? How did that happen? Huh? What? What happened? Something broke? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's with Washington? remember what it looked like. Let me try this. <laughs> well, well, well. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I may say so. What is it? Mrs. L statue. The one she brought in. It looked just like that. The one she loves so much? Mm. Yeah, that one. The one she's so proud of? The one that makes her so happy? Yes, yes. No? It didn't look like that. At all. You're right. Who am I kidding? This looks like it was put together in a blender. I think I can fix this. That's worse. It looks like nothing at all. Let me try. It's my turn. Yeah. Not bad, huh? I like the way it looks as though he's playing in a 
sandbox. Longing for the days of his youth. Wait! What are we doing? What about the statue? Oh, no! They're back! Ah! Wait! Everybody, calm down! Panic is not the answer! Panic is never the answer! Ah! Well, thanks, guys. Looks like I'm in really big trouble. Not a second to lose! Right here! Okay, uh, some wings, uh, no head, a bit like this. <gasps> Look, hon, they love my sculpture! Mm? It almost looks like they're worshipping it. <laughs> Looks even better than I remember. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> Still here? I thought I'd broken it. <gasps> Oops. Oh, Victoria! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's that? Huh? <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. Shh! Don't make a peep. A little more to the right. Yep, this is it. Right? Of course not. Could anything that cute be dangerous? <laughs> oh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at them. They're already friends. Aww. Aww. <laughs> now you guys all be nice to Baby. Aw, perfect name, honey. After all, he is just, just a, a baby. baby. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're off to work. Play nice. Aww, so cute. Hi, guys. Wow, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's, it's, it's a television. It entertains us. Oh, show me. <laughs> Show me! Oh. <laughs> Funny. What else? 
Guys, have a lake I can drink? What? what? Rah! <laughs> oh, a tiny lake. Gross. Why? What is why? This. What you're doing? We don't drink out of the toilet, dummy. You don't? Well, what do you use it for? <sighs> ah, yep, sure do like it here. Don't go in there. It's toxic. <laughs> hey, I love that tune. Uh, hey, Mitch, you know, Vic is a real pet, just like you and me. She's not some rag doll, she... Hmm, uh, actually, it's annoying. <laughs> she doesn't really like to be held against her will, so maybe you could just... <laughs> and that's why we never hang out. <laughs> Get that. going on a grow spurt. Aww, Aww, so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, baby bear. Our very own baby bear. Come on, Rush. You're the bus. <clears throat> hey, Mitch. Uh, been meaning to tell you about some of the rules around here. Yeah, like no hugging or smothering other animals without permission. It's just you know, so we can all live in harmony together. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of rules. In fact, yeah. It leaves a nicky taste in my mouth after I say it, and together makes me feel cramped. Yeah, but Mitch, we can all... No more all. I want to be the only pet in this house, except, of course, for little Vic. Ooh. Uh, help me. Ah. Oh, no. no! You got till sunrise to get lost. Back to the wild. Dummies, and if you don't, I'll tear off your costumes and show the humans who you really are. 
big, dumb, unbearable bear. I don't want to leave. I love walls. No more sleeping in our comfy house. No more delicious treats. Or butt scratches or tummy rubs. Isn't there anything we can do? You heard what he said. He'll tear our costumes off if we don't. Tear our costumes off, he says. Hmm. Wait. Tear costumes off. It's a chance we'll have to take. Hungry. Mm. Oh, I forgot I ate it all. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. You gotta get him really worked up. Yo, Mitch! What? Why are you still here? The sun is almost up! We're not scared of you anymore, Mitch. <laughs> if you want us to leave, you're gonna have to make us. And we're not leaving without our friend Vic. No one tells me what to do. And Vicky doesn't want to go to the woods. She wants to stay here with me. Don't you, Vicky? <laughs> See? So I guess I'm gonna have to... Ah! Oh, what are you? Ouch! Oh, you're really gonna get it now, you stupid... <laughs> so fast. Hey, Mitch, want a cookie? <laughs> you want some more? Then come and get it! Oh. <sighs> well, 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 what do we got here? You're looking a bit lost, big fella. We're gonna take you back home to the forest, shall we? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you guys for sticking up for me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. He's out of sight. It's high time he went back to the forest. We're so sorry, you guys. Poor babies. Aww. Aww. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Stubborn wild ones, you guys just don't get it. You're not supposed to be here. It's not natural. You're coming back with me to the forest where you belong. <laughs> ah! Save me! Save me! Stop, evil space dog! You will not take Princess Gracie from her peaceful planet. I'll fight you to the end to protect her! <laughs> woof, woof, woof! Row! Woof! Uh, that's the most evil plan I've ever heard! Huh? <laughs> Awful! Freaky! <sighs> Honey, don't worry, they'll be fine! You really think so? Of course, they did fine the last time we left them, and it's barely two days! They've got plenty of food and water! <laughs> I guess you're right! <laughs> <laughs> You guys are gonna stay home the whole weekend by yourselves. Come on, honey. We can't miss our reservation. The oysters are calling me. We'll be back before you know it. You guys be good. Oops. The 
dry cleaning. Yes, Mrs. L. We'll pick it up and drop it off within 24 hours. Guaranteed. Oh, we won't be here tomorrow. Can you just drop it in the backyard? Days to relax, oh naturel! <laughs> Grossness! May I suggest you get these cleaned while you have the chance? The laundry guy will be here soon. <laughs> it's so bad I can't even see. <laughs> yeah, probably time <laughs> to freshen these up. Delicious! This is exactly what I've been dreaming of the last few weeks. And it's so romantic. Uh. Uh. Honey, I feel a little weird. Yeah, oh. things are looking kind of strange. before it gets worse. Ugh. Oh, this is great. I forgot how much fun it is to scratch all day. Oh, yeah, massive scratching. Yeah, you can scratch those hard to reach places. Yeah, it's nice to also be our normal selves a little bit too. <laughs> Doing? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotching red? No. Why? I thought maybe I was having a fever dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. <laughs> oh, come on, Vic. We're just having some fun. Join us. Uh, no. House cats do not act wild. Oh, there's got to be a lioness in there somewhere. Oh. Come on, give me a big cat roar. Meow? That's all you got? Please. <gasps> oh, Vicky! Really good. Yeah! Wild Vic! Sick because I'm seeing crazy things right now. Uh, 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 really sick. Seeing things? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotching red? No. Why? I thought maybe I was having a fever oh. dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. I've got an idea. It's a long shot, but it's the only one we've got. We're gonna have to stall them as long as we possibly can until our costumes arrive. But also, they'll 
think it was all just a really weird fever dream. Stop! Evil villains, unhand the princess! Help me! Help me! Take me to your leader! I'm taking over the planet! Help me! Help me! I'm a wild, wild lion, and you are my prey! <laughs> sees Mitch, he'll freak out and we might not get our costumes back. Hey, Mitch, why don't you pick on someone your own size? I'm gonna get you! in our house. What? Me too. But there were also weird spaceships and monsters in mine. Me too. What? <sighs> it was all just a crazy <laughs> dream. Oh, you smell just like a fresh pillow. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We're off to the farmer's market, kiddos. No wild parties, okay? Animals throwing a party? Too much. <laughs> too, too much. <laughs> yeah! Yes! An entire costume-free afternoon to do whatever we want. Yes, like soak in a tub. Get away the fridge. And buy our toenails. Huh? Uh? Buy the fridge thing. You guys are gonna get so busted. No way! They'll be gone for hours! Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> ah! They're back! Panic! Ah! <laughs> Don't do this to me, Zipper! Not you! Not you! Can't leave without our favorite podcast! Podcast and it. Huh? Mm -hmm. oh, that was odd. I thought cats always landed on their feet. Hey! <gasps> Look, hon, he wants to shake! Roll over! Roll over, boy! <laughs> <laughs> now play dead, Washington! <laughs> <laughs> Good puppy! Brilliant! Hooray! <laughs> that was close! Good thing you play a dog so well, Washington! No biggie, just raw talent mixed with a total commitment to my craft, but whatever. No, really, Washington? You're like the king of domestic pets! The king of domestic pets? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Majestic Domestic! Yeah, the Majestic Domestic! Oh, that's good. I like that. Majestic Domestic? He's acting like a house pet. It's not that hard. It is for me. I can't even land on my feet. You'll get it, big guy. Just keep practicing and someday... You'll be as good as you. Well, I was going to say you'll improve, but many things possible. You'll take it. All hail the Majestic Domestic! Remember, total commitment, Sam. Put your paws out and let it rip. Commit, commit, commit. Hmm, you're still holding back. Maybe if the platform was higher. Yeah, that's it. You're a genius. Me? A genius? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> Brother. Something to say, Vic? Me? No. I mean, you are pretty high on yourself right now, but I'll hold my tongue till you slip up and take a fall. Well, I hope you're ready to wait a while because there's nothing the Majestic Domestic can't handle. We're home, kiddos! And there's someone we'd like you to meet! <laughs> Say hello to Petunia! <laughs> While we were at the market, we saw her in a tragically small cage! <laughs> Chicken! So, until we find her a better home, Petunia will be our guest! <laughs> Chicken! What is Washington doing? Being friendly. This book we got, How to Take Care of Chickens, says dogs and hens are natural allies. Well, if the book says so, I blindly accept it. And just look at his happy little smile. Good dog! <laughs> woof, woof, our Washington, you can't get out now. We're meeting our new guest. Woof. All right, all right, yes. Wow, I guess when you've gotta go, you've gotta go. Perfect, a free range farm where our little chick will be happy. Great, see you soon, bye. Good news, hun, the farmers can pick up Petunia on Saturday. Hello, Washington. How's it going with Petunia the chicken? I thought foxes couldn't resist a nice, fat, juicy chicken. And we're just natural enemies. Huh? Gee, what if you're right? What if I can't control myself? Oh, no! In case you can't tell, I was being sarcastic. And don't forget, I'm the majestic domestic. He's right, Vic. Back in the wild, Wash was always talking about how much she loves chickens. And now look at him. He doesn't even look at Petunia. See? He's really the majestic domestic. Bark, bark. Oh, 
<laughs> hey there, Petunia. Nice to eat. Ah! I get the next hug. Washington, my slippers, bad dog. <laughs> Go, Sam, you can do it. <laughs> commit, Sam, commit, commit. <laughs> Mayonnaise powder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> how to take care of cats and how to take care of chickens. Let's mix it up a bit. Huh? What's that? Apparently, chickens love sunbeams. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's cats. It says so right here. Never mind then. Blindly accepted. Unless I make the full commitment. <laughs> guys, guys, what day is this? It's the day Sam finally lands on his feet. That's what day it is. Yeah, total commitment time. Make it higher, guys. Higher. No, I mean, is today Saturday? <gasps> it's the farmers! Ha <laughs> ha! I made it! It's all gonna be fine now! Hello? Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone! Us farmers are up at 5 a.m. We'll have to come back next week. Let's go. No, don't. You can't. No, no, no. Uh, Washington, something wrong? Wrong? I, 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 I'm in control. Okay, then could you not act like a crazy person for a sec? Sam's about to jump. Thanks. Commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. You know, guys, I'm worried it's still not high enough. No! Get away! Get away! Stop him! <laughs> you can't fight me forever! It's hopeless! Bush, I don't understand. What's gotten into you? Foxes eat chicken, Sam! And I can't stop trying to eat Petunia! <laughs> Where is Petunia? Don't worry, she's safe. I took care of her. <laughs> I know! I'm not a domestication master! I'm a domestication monster! <laughs> I knew it! Yes! Yes! You all heard him admit it. You're my witnesses. Actually, I should have this documented. And do we know any notaries? Never mind. It's just a symbolic thing. But you'll sign it, right? You have to sign it. Hey! Come on, Victoria! Yeah, not nice! But guys, she's right. I'm not what I thought I was. Maybe, but you're still our friend. Thanks. <coughs> Look! The farmers haven't left yet! I told you that you can't substitute orange juice for oil. Okay, okay. Let's find a gas station. Okay, it's my duty to help you, Wash. I'll find a way to restrain them until the elves wake up. Wish me luck. Good luck. 
für Washington. Für Washington. One. I did it. I actually did it. He did it. He did it. Yeah. How's it going, furry friends? Hello. Sam. What are you doing out there, buddy? You know this cat? He's really phenomenal. He just landed on my hood from out of nowhere. Oh, yes it is. And by the way, hello. You aren't the free-range farmer, are you? Yes, we are. And by the way, we're here for the chicken you have on your head. Huh? <laughs> Guys, I just want to say thanks for sticking with me. You're welcome, I guess. As long as I don't have to hear the name Majestic Domestic ever again. Don't worry, I learned my lesson. Besides, we all know who the real hero is. The Phenomenal Feline. The Phenom... The Phenomenal Feline! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We gotta do something! Absolutely! You're gonna help them! <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Phew! That was too close! Thanks, Vic! I never doubted you for a second! Not even for a second? Not for a single second! Vicky! Kitty! Vicky Kitty! <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! That's ridiculous. We didn't come from over there. We came from over there. Everybody knows that cats have an excellent sense of direction. Please, you're an alley cat. As if you know which way to go. You can't even decide how to run for your life. Guys, don't fight. I can smell civilization in that direction. No way, it came from back that way. Nuh-uh, it was that way. Everybody shush it. You shush it. We gotta dig our way out, I'm telling you. We need to start digging our way out of here. You heard me, dig. I say we just run, anyway, as long as we're not here. I knew you'd come back. How about we ditch these dweebs and run off to Paris? No! <laughs> uh -oh. Everybody stick together and follow me! They're done for! 
Here comes the tunnel. The kibble is mine. Huh? Sorry, I got a race to win. Wait a 
a second. That's not a large dog. That's a, a, a bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> This is mine! <laughs> you play dirty! Bad dog, Alvarez! Bad dog! Yeah, well, sometimes bad dogs win. Here, let me show you! Sausage is definitely the worst to ever walk the earth. <laughs> you did it, boy! We won! Uh, not exactly. The rules clearly state the first animal to cross the finish line wins. This year's supply of pet food goes to the goldfish. <laughs> are the best. Yeah?